Well, since the first $100 million was announced back in 2016, New York's Downtown Revitalization Initiative has been trying to develop dozens of small cities across the state. And we've covered stories in Oswego and Cortland, but tonight, News Channel Line's Rob Hackford has more on the changes you can expect to see in the city of Rome. There hasn't been this much activity in Rome in probably a couple of decades. Whether it's the work on West Dominic Street or the torn down Liberty George parking garage. It's just a really exciting time in Rome. We're going to be under construction here for the next three or four years. This city's revitalization is becoming a lot more visible with the number of their downtown projects getting off the ground. They like to see the changes. I hear that a lot. And they know that we're readying ourselves for the future. We're trying to attract people that work at Griffiths to live in the city. And to do that, we need to modernize it a little bit. Uh, become more contemporary. Three of the biggest changes include a housing complex across from City Hall called the Copper City Lofts. An outdoor ice rink will be coming in winter of 2020 and the Capitol Theater will be getting a new marquee. The Capitol Theater has the largest award of $2.5 million to rehabilitate more portions of the theater. Uh, they are a tremendous asset and really the centerpiece of our downtown arts district. The changes will be happening over the next several years. Mayor Izzo says the city is getting the most out of their 10 million by also leveraging private money. We have a lot happening here at the moment and we're, we're proud of that. We're going to continue to ride that momentum. Into a bigger and better future. In Rome, Rob Hackford, News Channel 9. And Mayor Izzo is running for re-election this fall. She'll face Democrat David Halpin November 5th.